What is up guys, Stone here, showing you how to beat the female skulls on chapter 28 without a weapon. Now with this strategy, you will beat them faster, but it doesn't mean it's easier. You're going to see why later. So let's get started. Before you start the fight, move up to the left side. Like I said, you don't need weapons, but I do feel like you need to upgrade your sprint. It's going to come in handy. Once it starts, we're going to run through the left side and beat her before she brings out her scope. If she spotted you, you're going to have to reset. If she moved already and she's not in that position, you're going to have to reset. You ended up doing something that triggered her to move, and we don't want that. If done correctly, you'll be behind her. For this one, you don't need to worry about the other snipers. Now this is the hard part. The first kick should not be a problem, but the second kick, you need to time it and hit her before she jumps. After that, quickly jump down and keep moving through the side of the hill. Another perk that I suggest for you to get is the perk that allows you to jump from high places. If not, you might break your leg on that jump. So we're going to keep running through the side of the hill until we find a crack that we can climb. And by that point, you should be able to hear the skull switching positions. Once you've climbed the first crack, the second crack will be on your right. Two things can happen here. You either find one sniper in position and the other one running away while you're climbing the second crack, or you make it to the top and find both snipers. If that's the case, you need to let that one leave. If she already left while you were climbing the second crack, then you can rush up and beat the crap out of her. However, keep in mind that if she left while you were climbing the second crack, you're going to have less time to do it. Once you're done with that, you can run back where you came from and keep climbing up. You should be able to beat her. Right here, you don't have to do this. I was just testing waters to see if there was an alternative, a safer way of doing it instead of trying to get lucky. But not at all. You just really got to have good timing. I think it's best if you just run to the wall, you should be able to beat her. Or if you want to use this, which is climb the edge until you can land on the second platform, which I end up missing. I panicked a little because she pointed at me, but you got around three seconds before she pulls the trigger. I got fucking lucky. If I would have not landed there, I would have probably died. But you make it to the wall and you climb all the way up to her position. You know what to do next. If you end up missing the second kick on any of the first three skulls, you're going to have to reset. There's no way you can predict where they're going to go next. Once you're done with her, jump down. Now the fourth one is a wild card. And the reason I tell you to jump down is because I feel like that triggers her to go to the edge of the hill. I really don't know. It could just be bullshit. I just can't seem to find a way to make her stand on the exact same spot every time. So jump down or do whatever you want. I don't know how to trigger her. Just act like if you're going to the checkpoint and sooner or later, your dog will spot her. Now I will tell you this. She never landed looking towards me every time she was looking outwards. So if she lands and she's looking at you, I really don't know what to tell you. That never happened to me. So you're going to have to improvise from there. There you see, I finally find her. And all I got to do now is just time my kicks. And there you go. That is the quickest way to beat the female skulls on chapter 28. Not the easiest, but the quickest. You won't be able to extract them until you complete chapter 30, I believe. Then you got to come back and beat them again. But hopefully this video did help you out. And if it did, make sure you hit the like button to show your support. Subscribe to watch more of my videos. And I'll see you next time.